the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 starting from verse 17 and it read son of man I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me when I say unto the wicked the wicked the Lord is referring to in this precept is the wicked of our people that it says when I say unto the wicked thou shalt surely die and thou givest him not warning what is the warning that we are blowing we are blowing the trumpet telling you what is about to happen these are the warning what is about to happen pursuing to Revelation 13 16 that's right Esau knows that he has but a short time he is still going to go ahead full fledged family he's not stopping because that's what the book says in the book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 12 says what the devil knows that he has but a short time so he's coming down with great wrath so why that's why the Lord is here the Lord said what we should give you warning because the moment you take that thing and put it under your skin. Basically, what you're saying is Esau becomes your God. That you don't need your Hawa Shai, your Redeemer anymore. Because family, what is happening right now is that we have some people in Israel teaching that you can take this thing here. And in the last minute, when the trumpet sound and when the sky is cracked open and the Hawa Shai is coming, you can, pock, you can literally uh, take it out of your skin and ask for forgiveness. No, family. Let's, let, let, let's read. It says, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth, and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. What is the way? The fact that if you go ahead and take this thing here, the Lord is going to kill you. That's right. The Lord is going to kill you. That's the warning that we are here. Blowing the trumpet. Telling you that you are not supposed to put anything under your skin. It doesn't matter what they say to you. We are here to warn you. He says here. When I say unto the wicked. Verse 18. Thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning. Because the Lord tells us. If you take this thing here, you're going to die. So we are here to tell you not to take it. He says here, No speakers to warn the wicked from his wicked way. To save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood would I require at thy hand. Yet thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Throughout the week, we're hearing from the camp, IUIC, Israel United in Christ family. They are teaching, they, yeah, they are saying that the MOTB, mentioned in Revelation 13, 16, is actually the, the mark. But family, they are preaching that, you know what, if they force it under your skin, you know what, though, you can pull it out. Family, it's going to be an, it's going to be option. The same way they give you that option about the serpent juice. The one that they told you that the whole world has to be locked down. That's right. And if you don't take it, eh, you can't go to work. Yes, family. It's coming down. But the key here is patient. The key here is patient. You have to trust that our power, Yahweh Bahashem, he says, because thou hast kept the patient of my word, I'm also going to keep you in the hour of temptation, we shall come upon the whole earth. So if the Lord is saying that he is going to keep you in the hour of temptation, which is going to be this M-A-R-K, the M-O to the T to the B, pursuing to Revelation 13, 16, why are you going to sell yourself short? Family, salvation is coming for the elect of Israel. Before I begin this lesson, let's give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh, our heavenly father, the power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the Redeemer, 
the king of Israel, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, the one the world ignorantly called Jesus. No, his name is Yahweh Shai. He is from the root and offspring of King David. He's known as the king of kings, the lord of lords, the beginning and the ending, the alpha and the omega. He's the one coming with his angel. That's right. He's coming as a conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. Yahweh Shai is coming. But before Yahweh Shai comes, family, these is one of the prophecy that has to be fulfilled. Everything written in that book has to be fulfilled. That's right. And this is one of the prophecy that some of the camps are teaching that it is okay to take it. But family, we are here to warn you that this is not for you. Family, there's nothing new under the sun. Yes, there's nothing new under the sun. The same way our forefathers, Meshach, hmm? Shadrach, Abednego, eh? the book of Daniel, family, read it. When the book of Nazar built that image and asked everybody to bow down to it, they said, no, we are not bowing down. Even though they know what was ahead of them, what the king was going to do to them, family, he was going to put them, he did put them in the furnace. Yes, family. The very furnace, family, it was hot. But guess what? The Lord delivered them. That is why the book of Romans chapter 15 verse 4. It says whatever is written. Hmm? Whatever is written. Whatever is written. Romans chapter 15 verse 4. It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience. Family, the key here is patience. Through patience hmm, and comfort of the scriptures, the word in this book hmm, might have hope. It's patience, comf patience. Family, the key here is patience. That's why the book of Ecclesiasticus. Let's bring it out. Let's bring it out and glorify our power. Ecclesiasticus chapter 2. Ecclesiasticus chapter 2. It says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, hey, eh? prepare thy soul for temptation. He says, set thy heart aright, meaning what? Your mind. Hmm? And constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. When they come family, the key here is patience and trust in the Lord. The same way our forefathers, family, there are many examples in the book. The key here is patience. It says here, verse 2 says, Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. It says, Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. This, is, this, took me, this takes me right to Job. Increase at thy last end. What happened to Job? The Lord made a bet with what? Satan. Hey, the Lord made a bet over Job's life with Satan. Hmm? He says, you go ahead, torture him, do everything, but don't touch his life. Satan said, yes, Job is going to curse you. The moment you start taking everything away from him, he's going to curse you to your face. The Lord says, is that right? Okay, let's have a bet. Job lost everything. The Lord, yes. Job lost everything. Family, his children, his friends. He was plagued. But we know what happened in the end. Eh? That's why it says what? Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Job was increased. Everything Job lost, Job doubled it. Family, that's why whatever was written aforetime was written for what? Eh? I just read it in the book of Romans chapter 14. 50, uh, Romans 15 verse 4. Through patience and hope in the scriptures. Eh? Patience. Hmm? So yes, it is coming. We are not supposed to take it because family, the Lord tells us that when we take it, we're going to die. He's going to kill us. He didn't mince word. 
because the moment you take that basically saying that Esau now Esau the current rulership yes the Edomite yes the B system yes you are worshiping them now they are your god now and the lord will wash the lord will wa wash his hands off you family this is not for you family let's bring out the word let's go straight to the book let's go to family i don't want this thing to be long but it's just been in my spirit all day because family the nonsense that are coming from israel right now some of these camps teaching that it is okay to take it family that that's unacceptable that's unacceptable no matter what comes our way the key here is patient okay patient let's go straight to the book let's go to the book of revelation here is made it clear family the book of revelation 13 16 it says here no let's start from verse 50 it says revelation chapter 13 verse 50 it says and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast hmm? the image is a system family his technology, his religion, institution, eh? the fact that he's pro, he's he is what he's prophesying. No, he's not prophesying. He's saying that he can give you everlasting life. That's right. The moment that thing goes in your hand, that's right. Yes, you're gonna live longer, and you're not gonna be sick. Family, they know they know what is coming for the elect. Family, these people read the book, and they read the book. They know that the elect of Israel family we're gonna be changed. We're going to have new bodies. We're going to have the laws in our heart. But these devils are trying to do it on the left-hand side. That's why they are using their sorcery, their witchcraft, their technology. That's their witchcraft, family. That's what we are here to tell you. It's not for you. Family, this thing has been burning in my heart all day. And I had to bring it up. I know I've made, I've made several lessons about this, right? I had several lessons, family, about Revelation 13, 16. This chip is not for us. You can't take this thing here, family. Yes, times are gonna cut. Times there, there will be times where you know what you will take like okay, there's no hope. But family, somehow, some way, the Lord is gonna come through for us. Family, we have many examples. But the key here is patient. I just gave you some example from our three brothers: Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Hey, eh? Daniel. Dude, this is during our captivity in uh, in in Babylon. Family, there's nothing new under the sun. It has happened before. The same thing. They were asking our forefathers to bow down to the image of who? The book of Nazar. And they said no. And they threw them in the furnace. And the Lord redeemed them. The fire had no power over them. Joseph. And he was sold into slavery. He thought he was going to die. But family, what did he do? The Lord also redeemed him. He became the second in command, command in Egypt. And during the famine, guess what he did? He fed his brothers. The same brothers that sold him into captivity. Yes. The key here is patience. These are, these are the things that we have to draw on. Family, so when the times are hard, these are the things that we need to think about. This is where we have to go. That's why it says, whatever was written. Let's read that again. Romans 15.4. It says here. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning. So now we have these examples to draw on. Eh? When literally when shit hit the fan, when you are caught between a rock and a hard place, family, you said, no, 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 let, let, let me think about this right now. Let me patient, let me pray, let me call upon my power. Because we've been here before. Yes, family, Job was a righteous man. And look at what the Lord did to him. But in the last days, look at what Job had. Family, if you read about the book of Job, family, Job had the most beautiful daughters in the whole land. This, this is the blessing that came from the Lord. So the same thing, family, we just have to be patient. Because family, we know what is coming for us. Lord willing, we are the elect. Salvation is following right after this place go down. But you can't take this here. It says the book of, let's go to the Revelation chapter 13 verse 15. It says here. And he had power to give life. Hmm? Power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Because they, they're going to come to a point, family, they're going to threaten your life. Because if you refuse to bow down to it, to take their chip, family, there's nothing new under the sun. 
what did Nebuchadnezzar told the, uh, the, our forefathers, Meshach, Abednego, and Shadrach? If you don't bow down, you're going to die. And they said, no, 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 we rather obey our power, Yahweh Bahashem, the power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, rather than men. So they said, yeah, put us in the furnace, go ahead. And that's the mindset that we have to be in. Joshua family, Joshua, Jericho family, they took down Jericho. The angel came and helped them out. They took off. Family, there have been, there are many examples in the book, family. The Lord always come through for us. The book of Maccabees, Judas Maccabees family. The Lord blessed them, family. They took down nations. Family, we serve the almighty power. That's why the book says what? When you come to serve the Lord, let's bring it out. Prepare your soul for temptation. And you have to endure. The key here is patient. And here it says what? My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thine heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Don't say, oh, I have to pay my mortgage. I guess I have to take it. No. You can't take it. You got to pray fast. Somehow, some way, the Lord is going to come through, man, family. Because the moment that thing goes under your skin, that's it for you. You cannot take it. It's not an option. It says, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased. At thy last, it says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art chained to a low estate. So, when they tell you you're going to lose your job if you don't take it, okay, that is fine. That's the mindset that we have to, family, we have to be ready to lose it all for the kingdom. We have to be ready to lose it off. Listen. Yahweh in order to get the kingdom, look at what he went through. So if we want to be glorified with Yahweh family, we have to bear the cross. We have to endure. The temptations are going to come. But taking the MOTB is not an option. We cannot take it. Family, let's go back to Revelation. Revelation 13, 15, 16, 16 says here, And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born to receive a mark in their right hand or in their four hands. Family, this is a physical mark, family. Let's look at that mark. Family, it goes into the Greek word karagma. Mm -hmm. Karagma. Here, it says karagma from the same as G5482, a scratch or itching. Example, stamp as a badge of servitude. As a badge of servitude. Because the moment that thing goes under your skin, family, you're basically saying that you don't need Yahweh, Yahweh Shai anymore. And you're going to worship Esau. And his image. That's right. This is what you say to the Lord. Servitude or sculptured figure, statue, graven mark, family, it is going to go under your skin. Mm -hmm. It's going to go under your skin. These are few images of this thing here, family. It is going to go under your skin. It's going to be in the engraved. It's going to, it's going to cut, cut it up. And family, you know that the Lord says in our laws, family, you can't make any incision in your body. Family, we, this is a high time to awake out of sleep. It is coming. If anybody is telling you to take this and then last minute you pop it out, family, the Lord is going to kill you. The Lord is going to kill you. This is not my word. So we are here to blow the trumpet. This is not for us. Our job is to wait. Family, the same devil that told us 
that this world was coming to an end they have to lock down this place if you don't take the serpent juice everybody's gonna die yeah you are still alive no and those that are, those took it family they are regretting it our key is to what to wait on the lord wait on the lord yahweh bahashem yahweh shah that's why we are here to blow the trumpet Proverbs chapter te, te, chapter 3 verse 31 says what envy not thy oppressor that's right I, excuse me envy not thy oppressor and choose none of his ways hmm? whatever he's doing family go, if he tells you to do a do the opposite and then you will live to talk about it Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 10 says what don't trust thine enemy like iron that rusted, so is his wickedness. Family, the Lord got every every angle covered. He told you who your oppressor is. He told you that this earth was given into the hand of the wicked. The wicked is in rulership right now. They know that they have but a short time to implement their new world order, which is going to consist of putting something under your skin. We just went through it. You cannot take it. Because family, I want this lesson to be short, just straight to the point. I want to skip to the next page, the next chapter here, which is chapter 14, Revelation 40. The Lord tells you exactly what he's going to do to you if you take this here. He says, verse 9, he says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, hmm? their system, family, their new world order, hmm? and his image, yes, and receive his mark. I just told you what it is. It's actual physical mark that's going to go under your skin. The Lord is telling you. He said, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his head, right hand. Family, let's bring that image so it's fresh in your head. Yes. You see it. You can't say that you didn't know. We are here blowing the trumpet. We thank the Lord for giving us this eyes, for giving us the understanding. This is how blessed we are to warn his elect. This is all about the elect. That this is not for you. No matter what, you cannot take this. The Lord will kill you. Not just regular kill, family. Thermonuclear fire in front of all the angels and Yahweh Shah is actually going to witness it. You're going to melt Yes, this is what the Lord is bringing. It's going to be everlasting pain, family. It's going to slow it down. So you feel every second of that pain. That's why we're here to warn you. You have to trust in the Lord. Somehow, some way, our faith tells us He's going to come through for us big time. And that's the mindset that we have to be in. We have to think back. All, all the stuff that our forefathers went through, all the all the temptation that came their way, and they stood their ground. The Lord kept them. The Lord came through for them. The key here is patience and having faith and trusting that the Lord is going to come through for us big time. Family, let's finish it off. It says here, verse, Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, it says here, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his, in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, righteous judgment, family. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. Are you listening to this? The presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. Yahweh Shai. Family, there is no way around it. Okay? Straight to the point. So whatever IUIC is teaching that you can take it in last minute, you know what though? You can, you can repent. No. That's not an option. If anybody teaching their family, they are anti Hamashiach. Because we're supposed to be what? Watchmen, warning, telling our people. 
when we see the devil, the devil is coming. Family, that's what the, the I think Yahweh Shai said something about hiring. Let's get let's go to the book of John. John chapter 10. John chapter 10, verse 12. It says here. No, verse 11. Listen to what Yahweh Shai says. He says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. How are you doing that? You warning. When you see something terrible coming. You are the shepherd. You see something terrible coming. What do you do? You protect the sheep. But when these, these devils are going around telling people that you can take it. And in the last minute repent family. That's not a shepherd of the flock family. That's a hireling. They are working for the system. Let's read. It says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But he, that is an hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not. Hmm? Sees the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them and scattered the, and scattered the sheep. That's exactly it. They are hireling. Because if you care about the sheep, you warn the sheep. You tell them, no, stay far away from the wolf. Family, this is not for us. Family, there's nothing new under the sun. If the Lord protected our forefathers in different scenarios, different captivities, family, eh? different hardship, family, they all went through it. Big example, like I always go back to uh, Daniel. Our three brothers there, family. Daniel was put in what? The lion's den. But guess what? The Lord also delivered him. There's nothing new under the sun, family. So, again, this thing here, family, let's bring the image so it's fresh in your head. This here is coming. They're going to push it, but it's not for us. It's not for us. We have to wait and trust in our Lord. Family, we are about to go home. We got nest. We got nest. Don't sell yourself short. So for what? So you can live here for a couple of months? No. This is the two more prophecy left. The third world war and the mark. The physical mark. The chip that's going to go under your skin. It's not for us, family. It's not for us. We give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Rokar Kodai, family. Like it says, it says, let's finish here. My son, Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 1 says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thine heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him. The key here is set thine heart aright. Constantly. Constantly. All the time, family. Endure and make not haste. Don't rush to make any decision. In time of trouble, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Big example was Job. Job was increased in his last end. Yes, he lost everything in the beginning. But the last, the, in, 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 in his last days, family, the Lord bless him. So family, these are the examples that we have to draw upon. The Lord's going to come through for us. Okay, with that, I will say shalom. I hope you got something out of it. I just want this one to be a quick, 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 quick lesson. I don't want it to be too long. Family, yes, that thing is not for us. It's not for us. All praises to our power, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rukha Kodai, shalom.